Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new weekly writing vlog. So, it's actually Tuesday. I did not start the vlog yesterday in my period as I suspected last week. It showed up on Sunday and it's taken me out of commission for a couple of days. I also have not been sleeping very well, so it's just been a lot of things preventing me from one, feeling like being on camera and two, getting work done, although I did get work done yesterday. If you missed last week's vlog, I will link it up above in the cards for you to check out. However, I did do some work yesterday to catch you up if you have not been watching the vlogs, although I don't know why you'd be hopping in on this one if you haven't seen the other ones. I am currently working on my project, The Show Must Go On. I just finished revising draft for last week and so right now all I'm doing is reading through the book so that I can finally send it off to beta readers for the very first time. Nobody has read this book but me. I am extremely nervous to send it to people. So I did start the read through yesterday but I was working from my bed because I was in pain so I needed the heating pad on my back and I also just did not feel like sitting in this chair so I worked from bed yesterday which had me feeling very distracted. I ended up on Twitter a lot. It was not the move. I don't like working in bed. But I did manage to get up to chapter 8, so I'm 70 pages into the read-through out of 321. And it is my goal to finish it all today and to send it to beta readers today. I'm not doing like a very thorough read-through, I'm just kind of running through the book as quickly as I can. I have been adjusting some things, like adding a couple of descriptions of things that I wanted to put in while revising and I just forgot to, and also just cleaning up some of the prose. I also, I've talked about this, I think I talked about it in last week's vlog, I really wanted to check for repeated paragraphs in this draft. So when I revise, I have both documents open. I have the previous draft open and a new document open for the new draft. And I basically just copy and paste a few paragraphs over at a time and I will comb through them. And sometimes what I will do is I'll go to the next line and I will rewrite the paragraph above and try to do it in a different way. And oftentimes I somehow forget to delete the old paragraph. And I really thought that I didn't do it this time, but I did. I, I did find an instance of it and so this is why I do the read-throughs because it is extremely embarrassing when that happens. Yeah, I don't like sending a draft to people where I have repeated paragraphs that are just slightly different but they say the same thing and it's just really, really embarrassing and I don't like it. So I'm trying really hard to make sure that none of those make it through to the draft that I sent off to beta readers. So that is what's happening right now. Chapter 8, I'm really hoping to get through this all today and at some point before the end of the day sending it off to three beta readers i'm sending it to my author mentor match mentor melissa i'm sending it to my friend kath and also my friend kaylee I'm just doing a small little batch for this first round and then i will most likely probably maybe send it to more people after i do their revision notes i'm giving most of them till the end of february hopefully to finish it so that i can start forming a revision plan and figuring out what i need to do depending on what their notes are i might be able to start on some revision notes before getting other people's notes it just kind of depends. So I need to sit down and work because it's currently 3.30. I did not go to bed last night till like 5.30 in the morning. Not by choice. I just could not fall asleep for the life of me. I literally got into bed, I think, like 12.30 a.m. and I, I could not fall asleep. So I got a late start to my day, but I'll update you guys later. Okay, it is now 7.50 p.m. I finished doing the read through of Just and Go. It was a very like quick skim through of the book. I did add some things here and there. I did find more repeated paragraphs, which was very annoying, but I finished the read through. I am about to send it to the first person. I'm sending it to Kaylee and I thought that I would capture the moment of me sending this book out for the very first time. I'm nervous. Joey is here for emotional support. He's not doing a very good job, but it's fine. I'm nervous. I really want her to love it. Okay, why don't you do it? Send. Okay, she has it. I'm gonna text her so she knows that it's coming. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send it to the rest of the people and spiral for the rest of time until they finish. Peace. Cool. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm nervous. Okay, so it is now Wednesday. And now that Tism Go is sent off to beta readers, it is time to move on to the next thing. Just a quick update on the beta reading. I think the only person who has started is Kaylee. She's like 10% of the way through the last time I checked and she seems to be enjoying it, which is nice. But it is time to move on to the next thing. I don't think I've officially told you guys what I'm gonna be working on next, but I'm gonna be going back to my project AMS. If you watched my vlogs from last year, you might remember this project. I tried working 
working on it last year but I ended up switching projects twice. So originally I was working on it over the summer and then I ended up working on Tiss and Go instead and then I was gonna work on it for NaNoWriMo and I ended up switching it to my Christmas book instead. So this book it just never seems like the right time to work on it and it's been giving me a lot of problems. So I haven't told you guys much about this book but a quick rundown. It's about almost love, lost friendships, I'm hoping for it to be a dual timeline, lots of things going on but like the biggest thing that I'm gonna tell you is like almost love it's like a situation where like they were almost gonna be together and they weren't and then they didn't so that's kind of what this book's about it's loosely loosely based off of something that I went through in real life but I just can never seem to get this project to work the way that I want it to I just I have a gut feeling that somewhere along the way I've gone wrong like I've made a misstep and I just I can't figure out what it is but it just like in my gut it just it feels wrong so the game plan I wrote it all down in my phone so I wouldn't forget to tell you guys anything. So what I want to do to start off with is just re-familiarize myself with like all the characters and the plot and just everything that I've already done for this project. So I definitely have character profiles done that I need to look over. I have just like random plot brainstorming written down and I also have a partial outline written I think. I know I started an outline I don't know how much there is of it but first order of business is just to re-familiarize myself with everything since I haven't looked at it since I don't think like the end of September maybe the beginning of October it's been quite a few months and I have a bad memory so I don't remember much so that is step one the next step is to try to brainstorm how to move forward I'm hoping that while I am refamiliarizing myself with everything that I will be struck by some inspiration I've been kind of feeling inspired over the past couple of days writing some like random notes in my phone talking to friends so I have been feeling inspired I just don't know if it's enough to go off of you know like I don't know if it's enough to fix my problems I just haven't had that like light bulb moment yet with this book. I've had very like tiny ones like imagine like a light bulb like flickering and it's like trying to light up. That's kind of what's happening. I just haven't quite hit the full lit up light bulb yet. This whole clip is going to be filled with a lot of different metaphors and I'm so sorry. I have a puzzle one to go through in a minute. <laughs> but yeah I just need to try to brainstorm and I think my new goal and plan with this book is to just draft it this year. Like I just gotta do it you know even if it's not feeling a hundred percent right I just need to do it because what might end up happening with this book is I just need to write it wrong first before I can write it right. You know like I have this fear of having to rewrite a book again because I had to rewrite Reasons Why Not To a couple of times and it was so hard and it just like completely wore me out and I've been trying to avoid having to do that again because Tissam Go was also like a partial rewrite and it's just like a very tough thing to do and a very hard realization to have like you drafted this entire book and now you have to rewrite that same book. It sucks and I've had this mindset for the past couple of years that I don't want to do that again and I think it's putting way too much pressure on me to make it perfect before I even start writing it and that's just never how it's going to be for me. I always have an outline and then I always end up writing the book and not feeling like it's right and end up having to do some level of rewriting on. I just don't draft clean. I never draft it right the first time and I just need to accept that. That is just a part of my process and that's okay. Is it annoying? absolutely but it's okay it's okay so I mean I need to accept that I definitely just think that I need to write it and see what happens if I fuck it up that's fine maybe I need to fuck it up you know before I cannot fuck it up <laughs> That's just like kind of where my mind is at right now. Like I can't just keep going around in circles, working on this book, hitting a wall and then switching projects. Like I just need to get this book out there and have it written so that I can figure out what to do next. Like I think if I were to have a full first draft, I would be able to tell a lot easier what's not working than when I just have like this jumble of a random outline and like random papers with notes on it. Like I need to actually have a cohesive draft to I think figure out what's wrong with this book. I'm hoping that I can figure out at least parts of it because even outlining the book right now is really hard and don't tell me to just wing it and to pants this book because I can't do that it's literally it's I can't finish a book if I don't outline it I've tried I get stuck really quickly I need to have an outline so don't tell me to pants this book <laughs> here's my puzzle metaphor that I mentioned earlier so working on this book feels like working on a puzzle right and having all of these pieces that look like they fit in a certain spot like it's just so close to fitting but it's just not quite right and you just keep trying to make them fit until you realize that like it's just not gonna work and you need to actually find where they fit that's kind of what working on 
this book feels like. I have all of these different pieces of the book and none of them quite fit together in the way that they should. So now what I need to do is go back through and try to move around these puzzle pieces to where they actually need to be so that I can get the full picture and so everything can just fit together. Because right now I just got jumbled up puzzle pieces that just are not fitting properly but they look like they should fit but they don't fit. That's what I'm going through. Yeah, this book is giving me a run for my money. It's so difficult playing so hard to get and I think it's because I'm just putting all these expectations on myself to make it perfect and to do all these things and it's also just a very daunting project and I've definitely talked about this in past vlogs but I will say it again in case you never watched them but I'm doing so many different things with this book than I've done previously and I think it's just really intimidating me and it's getting into my subconscious and putting like a roadblock in my mind that I can't quite cross yet. I'm doing dual timelines. I've never even attempted to do a situation like this where there's like dual POV or dual timeline like I've never done anything like that I've always told a linear story one POV like that's all I've ever done so trying to do dual timelines for the first time is very very daunting because I don't quite know how to do it like when you haven't done something before you don't know how to do it so I'm just trying to grapple and figure out how I want to do it I've read books with dual timelines to try to give me inspiration I tried googling how to write dual timelines like it's very difficult and I am hoping that I will get there but I think it's definitely one of those things that it's going to take me probably some rewriting to like properly figure out what I want to do with it so that's stressing me out. This book also has two love interests which I've never done before so there's one love interest in the then timeline and he is the almost love guy and then there's a new love interest in the now timeline while our character is still grappling with feelings and things for the then timeline love interest so I'm trying to juggle two love interests and it's not like a love triangle necessarily but I need to juggle these two and have the readers ship and like the main character and the then love interest enough to understand those chapters and like those chapters and understand why our main character is so distraught over losing contact with them but then I also need them to ship the now love interest with the main character even more so it's just a lot it's a lot and I'm very scared by that and then just in general I really want to write this book it's something that I've wanted to write for a very long time I've had this this actual idea since 2020 so it's been about two years that I've had this idea but I've wanted to write a story like this with this kind of tropes of the almost love since high school when I initially went through this thing that it's like kind of inspired by so it's just like very daunting to know that I've wanted to write this book for so long and I know I just know that it's not gonna look like how I want it to look at least not on the first go around and that's always a very hard thing to do and I think that's one of the hardest things for me with drafting and partially why I hate it so much is that it just never looks looks like how I want it to look and there's nothing that I can do to make it look how I want it to look on the first go around because that's just not how I am as a writer. There's a lot of feelings going on right now. I've been talking for a really long time but I just wanted to say I'm going to work on this project. I'm going to draft this project. My goal is to draft it in July although maybe I might do what I did for a draft of reasons why not to. I don't remember what draft it was. It might have been draft two where I did it like act by act. So like I would outline act one and then I would write act one and then I would outline act two and write act two and I think that might work for me the last two books that I drafted I did just fully during an anorimo so it's like all within one month and I think that just while I do love it and I do want to do this book during NaNoWriMo events it just stresses me out a lot to have to draft a whole book in a month and it just like messes with like my psyche because like I already don't enjoy drafting so doing it in 30 days is sucky so what I might do is I might try to draft at least act one in April if I can swing it I don't know I'm not making any promises but I definitely want to start drafting this book in July 100% if I'm not drafting this book in July, I'm going to scream because I need to write this book. I need to get it out of my system. I need to just write it. You know what I mean? Like, I, just, I need to write it. With that being said, I'm going to go sit down right now. I have about an hour till my mom comes home. I think we're going to the mall when she comes home. I have about an hour, hour and a half to do some work, re-familiarize myself with everything that I've done for this project and hopefully be inspired. I am so nervous. Okay, I'm going to go do that. Thanks for bearing with me during this very, very long conversation. I'm gonna go do some work now. Okay, so it's now Friday. This week has not 
gone quite the plan i've had like a rough week it's been full of sleepless nights i just for some reason have been having a lot of trouble falling asleep and then on wednesday actually before i filmed the last talking clips you guys saw i got my booster shot for covid and i was like really hoping that it wouldn't affect me but about 2 a.m before i went to bed i started feeling really nauseous my arm was killing me and it was just not a fun time i really could not fall asleep because i just could not get comfortable and then i woke woke up really really early so I only got like four hours of sleep I think so I was really tired all day and I was dealing with like all over body aches like my whole body just hurt and I was just like not having a good time yesterday so I just watched once upon a time on the couch all day I didn't do any writing or any anything didn't do anything and now here we are today I got a bit of a better sleep last night because my arm finally stopped hurting so now we're gonna get back to work but I did not update you on what I actually did on Wednesday when I started working on AMS again so basically I just sat down and started going through everything. I started reading over some of my notes that I had left myself. I looked at the outline that I had made and I'm gonna be creating a new outline because I don't like the way that I even like set up the document. So we're gonna be making a whole new one, I think. Yeah, I just like looked at everything that is in my little notebook here. And I also wrote down all the notes that were in my phone just so I could have them in here. And then what I did was I looked at the planning that I did. This is my plot diagram that I tend to do when I'm having like issues with outlining my book because it just helps me see it a bit more visually and break everything down. So I take all of the save the cat beats and I just put them in this like plot diagram that I learned in high school. I'm gonna kind of break it down that way. So I looked at ones that I had already made. So I had a couple that I'd already made. Didn't like them, so I made new ones. Especially since I'm changing up the then timeline to now be told all in like narrative prose instead of being just email formatting, which I like a lot better. It's a lot more intimidating to me for some reason, but also not at the same time. I'm very confused. This project is hard. Now I have one made for both, both timelines. I haven't actually put anything into it yet because I haven't fully decided what I'm doing with this book yet, but I have them created. I think I was thinking the other day that I might try to figure out the then timeline first as opposed to doing the now timeline first because I want to make sure that everything is kind of like aligning and that things are kind of leading into each other and I think it would help me a lot more to figure out the then timeline first figure out the foundation of the story before going into what is currently going on so that's that what was this Oh, this was me also trying to plan out the then timeline, but like on a smaller scale. Cause these are like the official papers and I wanted to do one that like wasn't so official that I could kind of mess around with. So I could change things. So I have like a rough idea of what's going to happen. So I need to look over this since I did it on Wednesday and I don't now remember what I did cause that's how bad my memory is. And then I also pulled out Save the Cat Writes a Novel, my tried and true writing tool, my best friend when it comes to outlining and writing books. And I tried to figure out what story genre this was because because there's different type of stories that they talk about in here. They talk about different story genres, like the Why Done It, the Rites of Passage, Buddy Love, things like that. Just different like overarching genres that like your book can fit into. So I did that because I hadn't really thought about it before. And I had two possible ones that this kind of fit into, but I couldn't figure out which one fit better. So I basically wrote down each one. And then within each genre, there's like three key things that make it that genre. So for a buddy love story, it's an incomplete hero, a counterpart, and a complication. If it writes a passage, which was the other one that I was thinking, is a life problem, a wrong way to attack the problem, and then acceptance of hard truth. So just looking at it right off the bat, I had more like information for the buddy love one than I did for writes a passage. So I decided that this is a buddy love story at the end of the day. Another thing I did was just reviewed all the character profiles because I do have character profiles written in here and I did forget that I did this. I knew that I printed out pictures. For some reason I forgot that I actually put them in here. So I have main character Lucy. I have the now love interest Finn. I love him. I have the then love interest Leo. I also have my main character's grandma and then I started doing her grandpa but then I never finished. So there's that. I think I need to work on liking Leo a bit more. Not like I dislike him, but I just feel way more attached to Finn, which is like how I want the readers to be too. I want the readers to be way more attached to Finn than Leo. But I don't want people to be like bored reading the then timeline or like not caring about Leo and like his relationship with Lucy. So I need to like him and develop him a bit more. I mean, he is developed. I think just in my head, I'm just way more attached to Finn because I just really love Finn. But anyway, I don't really know what's on my agenda for today. I might try to figure out the outline a bit more. <sighs> 
I don't really know. I'm gonna try to do some work on this though. I'm taking it slow. I don't have any like specific benchmarks or goals that I wanna complete this month in terms of this project. I just kinda wanna be thinking about it and just making strides to being able to like officially outline it and work on it. So we're just taking baby steps here. I'm not trying to rush this project. It's just, it's playing hard to get. Anyways, I don't know why I've been talking for so long. I'm gonna try to get to work and do something and just hope that it goes well. Okay, so it's now about 7.30. And honestly, <laughs> I did not get that much done today. I was trying to write for a little bit and like trying to figure out AMS. And this book is just playing really, really hard to get. And I was really hoping it'd be like easier this time and it would just magically all come together. And that's just not how it's playing out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So I ended up getting frustrated because I couldn't really figure anything out. And so I ended up doing other things instead, like other productive type things. But yeah, I don't know. There's just something about this project that I just can't figure out. That's unfortunate. Hopefully I have some sort of breakthrough next week. I don't know what to do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not yet already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.